Soul fam, what up, what's going on? It's Dave from Shooniverse Soul here. I got another unboxing for you guys. But full disclosure, it's not from the sneakers app. I've been taking a lot of L's on that app lately. I'm in a major drought right now. But I did cop these off the Nike app. I had a friend of mine text me and say, yo, what you think about these sneakers right here? And I said, those are cold. And he said, yeah, Nike just restocked on them. I had to cop a pair. When he told me that, I immediately went and got a pair myself. I love them, I love the colorway, an iconic silhouette, and an iconic athlete that was endorsed by the sneaker in the uh, late 80s and early 90s too. So with all that wrapped into one shoe, I had to cop. So let's go ahead and unbox and see what it is. In three, two, one. All right, so we have the Nike Air Trainer SC High. That's the full name. The SC and SC Trainer stands for, uh, what does it stand for? A sports classic. That's what it was on the, on the internet. I can't really find that concretely anywhere except in one place, and I had to kind of dig for that. So if that's wrong, please let me know. But for now, sports classic seems like it's on the nose for Nike branding. So let's just go with Sports Classic. This debuted in a line of trainer sneakers for Nike in the late 80s, early 90s. And this was designed by Tinker Hatfield. And you can tell Tinker Hatfield's signature if you look at the sneaker. He has an architecture degree, so he's an architecture by heart. And you can see some of those things evident in his sneaker, like for example, the mesh straps. Look at the blue lines and the mesh straps. It looks like a blueprint almost to me. So you can see Tinker's designs, straight lines, and that's why he's such a legend. He kind of brought architecture to sneakers. And that's why his sneakers stand out to me. It's because of that small touch or that touch of architecture and clean lines in every design that he had. And he designed these along with designing, of course, as we discussed, most of the Jordans in the 80s and 90s. The man behind the sneaker, the man that was endorsed by this sneaker or by Nike at the time for this shoe was the man named Bo Jackson. And Bo Jackson was arguably the greatest athlete of all time. Anyone that knows me knows I love MJ. But I'll go ahead and say this. Before I wanted to be like Mike, I wanted to be like Bo. He was a two-sport athlete, played professional baseball and professional football, and he was the first player I thought that could run a 100-yard touchdown and turn around and crack a 400-foot homer over the fence. I mean, this guy had superior strength, superior speed, superior hand-eye coordination. I mean, he was a phenomenal athlete. And I wanted to be him, just like any other, any other kid in the late 80s and early 90s. And if it wasn't for that injury that was really odd that derailed his career, we'd be talking about Bo Jackson as probably, to me, the greatest running back of all time. Definitely, definitely. But his uh, endorsement with Nike and this trainer sneaker paved the way for other athletes like Deion Sanders and Barry Sanders in different sports other than basketball getting signature sneakers from Nike. So he was pretty much a trendsetter when it came to that. This was designed as a multi-sport training shoe where uh, somebody could play basketball in them, uh, lift weights in them, train for football in them. So they wanted to make it as versatile as Bo Jackson was. And that was really the aim and the aim for advertising. And the commercials, uh, Bo knows, were excellent. Excellent, excellent tools for advertising. I'll tell you this much, Bo Jackson was so popular back then that Michael Jordan was in his commercial. That should tell you something about Bo Jackson and how popular he was and how good Nike's advertising was at that time. But this is the LA Rams colorway. 
to go on to the design of the shoe. It pays homage to the LA Rams, which is a professional football team in the NFL. And you can tell by the teal swoosh, the navy backdrop, the white on the bottom, and then you got that yellow and the mesh straps. I love the way that that sounds. Mesh straps. I don't know if they handle or do or give this shoe any functionality, but I think they do it because they're connected to these lace holes right here. So I think they give it some functionality too. The two things I like about this sneaker, off gate, is the white shoe strings, the white laces. I love how they contrast with the dark colors of the sneaker. That's what drew my attention to them whenever my friend actually sent me a picture of them. And, and also, the insole. Something about seeing a yellow insole on with a navy blue Nike symbol, Nike Air symbol inside, and just that that dark color on the inside really uh, attests to how durable these sneakers can be. Because to me, dark insoles are the way to go. That's how a shoe stays, you know, keeps its longevity is by having that dark insole. But something about that gold against that navy blue, I love that. But I'll keep it brief. That's all I have. There you have it. I'm Dave from Shooniverse Soul. You guys take care. Thanks for watching. Peace.